So someone made a mess and they are trying to clean it up and they toyed with your emotions. So they played with you like a toy car. Someone that you laid the hammer down with is coming back. They're getting ready, preparing to come back to you for some reason. And that is because they are crying and they are upset for some reason. And once I pulled these cards, I just, I had to turn the camera on because it's already looking juicy. I'm sorry, it just is. <clears throat> so, the person who may be crying may like to eat a lot of bananas. <laughs> I gotta laugh, I gotta laugh because my, um... Ex used to keep bananas on the nightstand by the bed, and yeah, so <laughs> that one is uh, too accurate. Okay, so um, they may be hopping towards you. Um, someone could be playing golf, but it also says making yourself dizzy and a dog chasing his tail. So someone may be seeing you relaxing, enjoying activities that you like, but they are running around in circles, making themselves dizzy about what's going on. Like, it's almost like they can't believe what's happening. And that's probably why they're crying. Like they did not expect the events that are unfolding to happen like they are happening. Oh, I'm sorry. Like this one... This one is just so good. Like, the last one was just so crazy. It was just so crazy. I just had to pull cards and, um, ooh. So, someone caught something catching a ball. So, I feel like someone could have caught an STD in this situation. Not me. I'm good. But someone in the past did. And based on the previous reading, it could have been someone who was involved in, you know, the prostitutes or the sex parties or whatever. I just read the story, you know. <laughs> it just comes out how it comes out. <clears throat> um, so someone did not go through a change. Someone did not grow up. Someone did not mature. This is the butterfly in reverse. Um, plays guitar. So someone maybe had, had been a musician in the past, um, but they are immature. Um, and with the violin, I, I hear the world's smallest violin. So someone is just sitting around having a pity party at this time. Oh yeah. Okay. So we got the turkey in reverse again. So someone was talking a lot of turkey. They were spreading a lot of, um, half truths. Um, they maybe may have even told you a lot of half truths. They were not an honest person. And then we have the rat in reverse again. So whoever this person is who is, um, having a pity party was not an honest person and they were sad. And maybe it's because their secrets are coming out in the cards and I'm sorry, I can't help it. The story comes out how it comes out. I mean, it is what it is. Um, uh, there's someone who did not come towards you. This is someone on a pogo stick hopping and it is in the reverse. Um, so fireworks swatting a fly. So maybe someone was annoyed with you. They didn't feel fireworks with you. So they didn't come towards you in the past. Mm, policy, polishing shoes. But then we also have the crossing guard and that is the second word that came out. So, um, it doesn't necessarily have to do with someone when policy, polishing, I don't know why I can't speak all of a sudden. <clears throat> someone doesn't want this stuff to come out. They're trying to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. it. I'm just having a good old time. This is just too funny for me because I know like so much of this, what it's about. And it's just, it's cracking me up. So someone had a decision to make in the past and they chose wrong. They chose to focus on something else, um, feeding the baby. So this is in the upright. You are a good mother. You take care of your children, uh, blow dryer, knuckles, salt, and pepper shaker. So someone who may have, um, salt and pepper colored hair, maybe getting ready to come towards you. Um, there's a calculator. Someone's adding something up. Um, they are, they're doing the math in their head, um, but someone is also coming towards you to play you like a piano, so this person who is getting ready to come towards you with salt and pepper colored hair, they're, they're doing the math, maybe they still think you have finances, the second word on there is using a bank machine, 
um, and choosing what to wear. So someone is preparing to make a, a re-entrance, but the very last one I pulled was the playing a piano. So someone intends to come and play you like a piano. And the eating the banana thing, I just... After all the stuff that came out in the last one, I just... Oh my god. It's no wonder they like the bananas, that's all I can say. Oh my god. I cannot, I cannot even... I cannot even, it's just, mm. this is why I love playing with my cards. These stories are just almost too good to be true. Even in the last one, at one point, I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> like, there was just too much. And the first card from the Woodstock is the man in reverse. So, we know someone's making a grand reappearance. any more reversals here first. Okay. So we have that man in reverse, and then we have that, um, I, I look at her as a lusty woman, so someone was feeling lust uh, maybe towards a younger woman, and in this card, it came out in reverse, and it is two people talking. This woman is whispering into another man's ear. So, um, this this man in reverse could have had somebody spying on you and reporting back to them. And that is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that someone is still watching you, because here is a female, and then there is a man here that's sit he's hanging over a fence and he's having a good old time maybe he doesn't think that you realize that you're still watching like he's playing games with you he's toying with you um he's not necessarily hiding the fact that he's watching you he's actually kind of enjoying himself playing these games but he's also out of options um there's a community here so he may even have a group of people um, watching and spying on you. And these next two cards here kind of go together because this man, it, it almost looks like a flashlight, but it could also, it reminds me of the device that's in his hand. It also reminds me of those little devices that people have in their cars that try to listen into people like from a distance. And then this other guy has a camera. So this man could be paying people to spy and watch on you, and you may even have listening devices um, in your car. This man is standing by a car, or even your home. So this man is still keeping a very close eye on you um, presently. These are in the upright, so you are still being watched and spied on at this moment. Like, they may even be watching you sleep. Um, that is how obsessed this person is. Like, this person is obsessed with you. And there's money being exchanged right here. Like, I can't make this up. Like, everything I'm saying is coming out exactly in the cards. This man is pulling out money. So, these people are being paid to do this by this man. And this man is still lurking around in the energy. The cards do not lie. The energy does not lie. Um, I've been saying this stuff all along, and I laugh. I know it's not funny, um, but you uh, you walked away from this man. There's a woman getting on a bus. You left this person. You left a man. This is in the upright. So, um, or someone could uh, um, be walking away from him. So. Maybe um, he left you for somebody else or cheated on you and the person that he left you for walked away from him. And this next card is in the upright. So um, they could be, he could be seeing you as a leader. So maybe he was dealing with um, that lusty energy, um, a, a person that he cheated on you with, with another female. Um, yeah, in the last reading, there was a lot of, um, sex and sex parties and prostitution going on. Um, but now this person is seeing you as a leader. 
This man is standing on top of um, a carnival stand. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be a man to be a leader. Um, gender is neutral in tarot anyway. But you, you pick up on certain energies depending on how you read it. So in this case, I'm not getting that the man is the leader in this instance. Um, I'm getting that you are, which is, you know, the upright, the high priestess, the divine feminine. <clears throat> my goodness gracious oh lord i don't know how many how many people this person was dealing with but my goodness gracious these people go through your things um these this man and this woman are going through boxes so um uh, these people that are spying on you recording you um your every move they're going through your things Um, and there's these two men, and it came out in the reverse, but they are chilling, they are hanging out, they're, there's these two men that know each other in some way. <clears throat> My goodness gracious, what are we getting into now? <laughs> I just, I, I can't even. Yep, I'm definitely having a good time tonight. Yep, I love my cards. All right, you know what? I'm going to pull just a couple of my Pink Floyd ones I did in the last time. Um, the energy took me somewhere else. I'm just going to see if there's anything that comes out of these real quick. And I'm not feeling anything coming from those. So let's see if we can't pull out from these. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got some cards here. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups and the Page of Cups in reverse. So what I get from this is someone didn't make you the offer and they were unempathetic towards you. Um, so when I read this card in the upright, the um, Page of Cups with the cup, that is someone who could have a crush on you or is empathetic. Someone wants to um, offer you something based out of love, caring, emotion. But someone was unempathetic towards you and they did not offer you the cup of... Um, that you were waiting for in the upright you were sitting here waiting for a cup and this was in the reverse so this person um did not give you the cup that they should have in the past they gave it to um i guess every other female and male that came across their path i i can't help it man i can't um, so you could be in your queen of wands energy being seen as loving, caring, empathetic, um, a leader, and that is being brought to light, or you could be coming out of hermit mode. So maybe you've been in isolation for a while and making a reappearance out into the world. Um, you are seen as innocent, pure, caring. This is the page of pentacles. This woman is out in a field. She is just... She is pure of heart. She's a good person. Um, you have an offer. There is a Knight of Cups. So there is a man on a horse coming towards you. And that is an Emperor. And judgment has been called on somebody. So um, someone is coming towards you with a cup of something. Whether it be empathy. Um, something. An emperor in the upright is seen as a mature male. In the reverse, he's a tyrant and he's an asshole, basically. If we want to just get down to the nitty gritty of it. So this emperor that wants to come towards you, um, ten of pentacles. So it could be a business offer. So we have the knight coming with an offer. So cup just means an offer. It doesn't necessarily have to mean love. Um, so we look at the surrounding cards and this is the 10 of pentacles. So someone could be coming towards you with a business proposal or business offer. Um, so we have the rest of the cards that popped out are all in reversals. So we have, um, something is not, did not go in someone's favor. They travel towards you to do something. 
they were a false high priestess. So maybe they imitated you or pretended to have divinity or divine gifts. Um, and they were not a divine being. They, they were a false person. And this has to do with work. So seven of pentacles in reverse. So this takes me back to the copycat energy we had um, a couple readings ago. Um, copycat caught at work. Someone was trying to steal your work and your legacy because this came out in reverse. So someone tried to um, basically take over your, um, you, not only your gifts, um, but your legacy, something that you were called to do, this person tried to take that over as if they were meant to do that. And if they were meant to do that, they would not have had to steal your work to do that. And that just, it burns my butt because it happened to me. But I just, I just don't understand if you're not called to do something, find out what you are meant to do. That is my cup of wisdom. That is my cup of love. I'm going to stop right there. My cup of love. Find out what you are meant to do. You don't have to steal from other people. Find out what is meant for you and you will succeed in it. You will not succeed or gain anything by stealing from other people. It just it burns my ass. Everyone is meant to do something and find out what you're good at. If you have to steal and pretend to be someone else, everybody should be their own self. Gosh. I've never pretended to be anyone else. You know what? If you're different, you're different, but there's no point in trying to be someone you're not because eventually the mask is going to fall off. It really is. I mean, you can only pretend to be someone for so long and eventually the mask falls off. Just be who you are meant to be. That is my cup of wisdom for real. Jeez. Like that just, I can't stand liars and thieves and all that. Like it just really burns my ass. I'm sorry. It just does. And I've had it done to me so much, and that's probably why, but... Okay, so someone wanted to keep you in a broken record, and someone is rolling over in their grave. So, someone's ancestors, someone's family is literally rolling over in their grave because of what someone has done to you. Like... Rolling over in their grave. Someone's family bloodline is very, very pissed off right now. So this may even be a separate thing from what's going on. But, I mean, I don't know. But I guess we'll find out. At the end of the day, someone does not want you to move forward. Someone does not want you to succeed. And this could be going back to the Queen of Swords energy from the past one. Um, or we have um, a copycat who was, um, you know, trying to steal your work again. Um, someone was not sincere in the past. So maybe they pretended like they were trying to help you out, but it was all fake. At the end of the day, someone's beating a dead horse. Um because they're not able to move forward and with keeping you on this loop, the broken record. They can't keep you stuck on it. You're too smart for that. Sorry, you just are. If you're in the upright, then you know better. Someone was all talk and no action. So that goes to someone not... That goes with someone not being sincere with what they were doing. So, um... Yeah, someone was doing a lot of talk, uh, but they couldn't provide, they couldn't back up what they were saying, so they, they said a lot of things, but they had no proof or evidence, or they couldn't back up what they were saying. Even though this isn't funny, it's just, I don't know, I just, I kind of find this shit just funny at this point. Because you know what, karma's a bitch. <laughs> Everything that these people have done, um, it all comes around full circle. You reap what you sow. And when you do bad, it's going to come back to you. It may not be right away, but it will come back to you. And this is causing someone to hit the panic button. Someone is panicking because they know this karma is coming for them. It, it's, it's hitting. It could be starting to hit right now. Um, but it's hitting for this person. These people are in the reverse, so they are facing their karma. And there's been a can of worm, you know, can of worms opened up. 
that could be um, you revealing what's going on and speaking your truth. I know that's what I'm doing. So, I mean, I, I don't know how you can be mad at the truth. If you don't want the truth to come out, then don't do shady shit in the dark. That's, I mean, God, I don't know what, how else to say it. Yeah, sometimes I do get a little worked up about it, because I'm passionate about it, because, I mean, you're never looking back, so whatever these people did to you, you knew, you knew they weren't sincere, so that is why you cut ties with them in the previous reading, because you knew they were full of shit. Okay, so, yeah. Someone uh, fell for the low-hanging fruit. Someone was easily tempted. Someone was deceptive. They were easily tempted. Um, that could have been by finances. Earlier in this reading, um, someone was getting paid to do something, so someone may have been tempted fi with finances, with financial gain, to come against you. <laughs> oh my god, I, don't e I just don't even know anymore. This is just too funny. It's not funny, but it's funny. Because the cards are, I mean, the truth comes out. And even if it's cards speaking the truth, it's just, it's just funny. So someone did not see eye to eye to you. You did not agree with someone in the past. They did not want you to have control of your life. This is take the tiger by its tail in reverse. So they did not want you to be seen as anyone that was capable of taking care of yourself. And you drew the line with this person. This is draw the line in reverse. So you set boundaries with this person because you knew um, they were not on the up and up. Back in the last reading, if it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. You know what I mean? Not getting anything else on those, so just take these for a quick spin. Mm. Someone was a bottomless pit, so um, they were not satisfied with whatever they got. Whatever they had, it was not enough. Whoever you were dealing with was a greedy person. They say money is the root of all evil didn't necessarily have to be money it could be sex someone could have had a sex addiction is what i'm getting as well um they were busy having fun in the sun so maybe they caught an std while they were out having fun in the sun and they were a bottomless pit they couldn't satisfy their um desires and this person is bad to the bone but they did not want to set you free. Um, this is free and easy or free as a bird in reverse. So they wanted to be bad. They wanted to do what they wanted to do. Um, they couldn't satisfy their own appetites, but they also don't want to let you go. They didn't want you to be free as well. And this is like narcissist to the max. I mean, this is just nuts for real. Mm, 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 mm. So someone, like, affected your work. I mean, they were doing all kinds of stuff. Paying someone. Like, jeez. <sighs> so this person that you set boundaries with laid down the laws in the upright. <clears throat> now they're seeing you as cute as a button. Okay. So <laughs> that's not how they viewed you in the past. But this person is playing with fire. Um, they're playing a very dangerous game right now. Um, they are playing a very, very dangerous game. If they are illegally spying on you or recording you, that is against the law. People cannot do that without your permission. They are breaking laws by doing that. And if they are paying people to surveil you as well, or even watching you sleep, um, oh my god, that is just... So many laws are being broken in this case. Um, and that's because now they see you as the big man on campus. They see that you are in this leadership role, no matter what you're doing. Um, and they didn't see you that way before. So maybe they thought because you didn't have finances in the past that you weren't their, you couldn't be their counterpart or their equal. And now they're seeing that you, um, they're seeing you in a different light now. Yeah. 
So now it's being made crystal clear. It is being made crystal clear that you have the luck of the Irish. You are so, so lucky. And you are, um, you know, you're a leader no matter what you do. So you're an alpha, whether it be male or female. And they didn't see that before. And so now all of a sudden they, um, you laid down the law with this person and you set boundaries, but they're playing with fire. They, they don't care about boundaries. <laughs> they have no intention of respecting any boundaries. I can tell you that right now. They don't care. They do not care. They think they are invincible. Someone feel was a fool for taking something that belonged to you that was of great monetary value. This is the Fool card, and this is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody took something from you that had a very big monetary value. <clears throat> Guess what? That is also illegal. My god, these people are all about the crime. Whew. Balance has to be restored. That's the temperance and the upright. Balance is going to be restored. It, it has to be balanced out. Okay, so this is the devil card. Um, that it's always, not always a negative card, but something could be taboo. Um, uh, someone could be using deception. Um, so someone could be coming towards you pretending like they're going to balance out a situation, but they could still be being deceptive. Um, it could also mean that someone is dealing with addictions. So, um, this person who stole from you may have taken money to pay for addictions that they, um, have, and they're in despair because... These are the only cards that have come out so far, was the reverse cards, was the fool. Um, this person was in despair, and they stole from you. And balance has to be restored because this person did that because they were facing addictions. Um, and like I said earlier, um, they could still be fighting like sex addictions, but if they were taking money from you, that could be... Um, drugs, prostitution, um, prostitution came out in the last one, but it could also be drugs as well. These both came out sideways, um, the wheel of fortune and something is ending. And I think this is how my last reading ended. Something is done. Something is over. So I think we'll end it here. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is currently turning. Um, in the last one, it was in the upright. Um, in this one, it is sideways. So currently, whatever luck, um, if, you have, if you were having bad luck, you're not going to have it anymore. Because something is done. It's over. It's finished. It's not coming back. And I'm just going to pull just a couple of these if anything comes out. If not, then we're just going to end it right there. Nothing came out. So we're just going to close it right there. And um, have a good night, folks. That is my... <laughs> this one was um, a spur of the moment read. And, I mean, it's a lot that kind of goes together with the other stuff. Um, it just kind of flows together. Um Someone's definitely facing addictions, has addictions, someone's still coming back in. Um, the luck is turning on your side. This person was a fool, um, but now they're trying to see you in a different light, but they're still, they're not changed. They're still the same person they was. So do not be fooled, folks. Do not fall for the okie doke. That is my cup of wisdom. That is my cup of love. This is the spur of moment, you know, spur of the moment. Um, don't forget, right now, you have the luck of the Irish, so um, you are lucky. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Things are going to work out for you, all right? God bless. Good night, folks.